afternoon. People who are living in this area behind me uh, picked up all of their stuff and moved to other parts of Wacker. Police and streets of Santa blocked this off to prevent the homeless from returning to this spot. The city cites uh, public safety as the reason for this. Advocates for the homeless are questioning that. With the encampment cleared, city crews move in. Known as the Triangle, this spot was home for several homeless people, some of them living here for years. Look, look, they took all my stuff. They took my pillow. They took everything, my blanket, and they put everything in the job. I slept right here. And they just do us wrong for no reason. Do us wrong. And I'm tired of this. After some confusion earlier in the week, all of the homeless living in the Triangle were out by 10. Signs posted state Monday the 11th as the deadline, but the city did not enforce it. Crews are building a fence aimed at deterring crime. Chicago police say drug dealing, robberies, and prostitution are among the problems on Lower Wacker. But advocates for the homeless say it's unfair to generalize. They argue this eviction is discrimination. We're using a stereotype of homelessness, um, that they are prone to drug use or whatever it might be, criminal activity. Um, but if you talk to the folks who live here, um, they, they would tell you a different story. It is more of a at family atmosphere. You know, we there's situations where there are hand fights, but I've never seen no gun down here. I've never seen nothing. A city mobile services unit is on site to provide medical care and other services. The Department of Family and Support Services says it found shelters for two residents on Lower Wacker, and it's working to help more. Many will accept services right away. Others, it takes time. That's why we're out here, not only DFSS, but we work in collaboration with our nonprofit delegate agencies who also do outreach. The department says it helped convince two people who were staying here on Lower Wagger to uh, go into shelters. Another six homeless people agreed to go to detox. The coalition uh, for the homeless uh, has not revealed whether or not it intends to take legal action in response to this eviction. On Lower Wagger, Judy Wang, WGN News.